Good morning, it's my last full day in Bergen, Norway, and I'm gonna bring you guys along. We're starting off with something super fun this morning, a three and a half hour boat ride on the fjord that takes us to waterfalls, and I'm so excited. I just got ready for the day. It is 9.15 in the morning. I wanted to leave here by 9.20 to walk over to where we have to meet and get on the boat for the 10 a.m. excursion. They asked us to be 20 to 30 minutes early, which is why I'm leaving so early. Here is the outfit of the day. This sweater is from Nordstrom. The jeans are Levi's, shoes are Converse, and I am gonna wear this bigger coat. I know it's going to get warmer during the day, but I think that the wind on the boat is going to make it colder and I would rather have something that keeps me a little bit warmer on this first part. Also something different I'm doing today is I'm bringing a backpack. I'm going to bring my laptop, all my stuff, and I'm going to get some work done maybe on the grass or something outside. Enjoy the beautiful weather today on my last day in Bergen. I also want to do a little bit of shopping later today. And the best part, I have a super fancy dinner reservation tonight that I randomly found and decided to make. You can only get to the restaurant by my boat and I'm just so excited to bring you guys along for sure want to make a TikTok of that experience but we are going to get ready for the day here is the outfit and let's get on our way to the boat tour I booked it through get your guide so I'll let you know how it is and then link it down below if I liked it good morning from my favorite spot so far it's a little cloudy today but it doesn't look like it's gonna rain so I'm counting on that but oh how cute is this city I love it Quick stop in 7-Eleven. I wanted to get some caffeine, but I didn't want to drink my Celsius's yet. So I got this Nako. It's called Juicy Brie. I have no idea what that means. I'm assuming orange or some sort of citrus fruit. So we're gonna try this one today. All right, this is the boat that we're going on. Rodney Fjord Cruise. I also cracked this open while I was sitting here. Y'all, it is so good. It's exactly like I thought it would taste, and it's definitely a top flavor for Nako for me. So if you see this, you should totally try it. I decided to come up top to see what it was all about now that we've gotten in a beautiful part of the fjord, and look! On Get Your Guide, it tells you to arrive 20 minutes early. I arrived almost half an hour early and I still couldn't get a seat by one of the side windows. So I would say if you're doing this, definitely go at least 40 minutes early if you want a great seat. If you don't care if you're going to be up and going around, whatever, no problem. But even 30 minutes early, luckily I was the last one to get a front row seat with the front window. Then people were constantly standing in front of me. Luckily, I was going outside a lot and everything, so it didn't matter too much. But that is definitely a tip is arrive at least 40 minutes early if you want an edge window seat. Currently walking through the fish market. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Okay, maybe I'll get some lunch from here. Hmm. Okay, so one of the things that I was told by you guys to get is fish soup. 
So I'm here at the fish market and that is what I just ordered. I'm not gonna come bring it to my table. I'm sitting by the fire. <laughs> it's the best decision. It's a little chilly today because it's cloudy outside, but I'm excited to try fish soup. And I'll let you guys know how it is. It's cod and salmon with vegetables, and they're gonna bring some bread. Okay, here's what it looks like. It is steaming hot. And we're in your taste test. I'm actually a little afraid I'm gonna burn my mouth on this, but here we go. Put a little chunk of salmon in there. <laughs> it's good. It's just like creamy soup with salmon and cod. It's exactly what it sounds like. It's good. I needed something a little bit lighter because dinner is going to be a lot today. So if you're coming, I would totally try this. It's my first bit of like Norwegian food since I've been here. Okay. Yep. That was delicious and hit the spot. I stumbled upon this store the other day, but they were just about to close, and now I'm in their fitting room. Um, yes. This is the first thing I've tried on. I love it, I love it. We're gonna have a bit of a shopping day today, but this, first of all, is coming home, so, so cute. Here is the name of the place I'm in. I think this is Gina Tricot, Trico. I found myself doing a little bit of shopping, but now that I'm done with that, which maybe I'll do a little haul for TikTok or something later, I'm actually sitting over by the pond that I love, and I'm gonna work on a video for you guys. I brought my AirPods, I'm just gonna connect them and edit in the sunshine. It's just beautiful weather right now. Like, it's just a slight bit chilly, but like not enough to have a jacket on, and the sun warms you up, so I'm just gonna enjoy the afternoon sitting out here before I go back to my hotel to get ready for dinner. Unfortunately, I was not smart and didn't charge my computer last night, so it's now at 2%, which means, unfortunately, I have to leave the sunshine and go plug it in in the room. So I'm gonna go do that while I fix up my hair, freshen up, finish up editing, and then get ready for an exciting dinner tonight. I don't even know exactly what to expect, but I'm excited. Okay, let's head back to the hotel. And here is the look for dinner. I decided to keep on the same outfit. I tried on a couple different things, but honestly, I'd rather just keep this on. I did change the shoes to these Dr. Scholl's, just a little bit of a lower shoe. Shoe. I think that this looks a little bit better than my Converse, especially because they're so dirty. And then I ended up switching earrings for these ones, which I just bought at that Gina Tricot store today. They're silver and gold, which I don't usually wear silver, but I've got a little bit of silverish jewelry on. And then just added a couple of curls to my hair, and this is how I'm going. All I've got is a belt bag, and I'm bringing you guys along. Considering how fancy this dinner seems, I'm not so fancy, but there's no extreme dress code, so I will be okay, and this is how we're going. Time to grab my stuff and get out the door. Okay, we're here. I've made it. I've talked to a couple of people and they're all here waiting for the same thing. So we're gonna get to dinner. I had forgotten my coat in the room and I know that it's gonna get chilly later and so I had to run back and therefore I was fast walking for my life to get here on time to make it by 6 but I ended up getting here by 5.53 so no problem. This restaurant you can only get to by boat. It is on an island so we have to take a boat to the island to eat and a boat back so I'm very excited to see how this is. It's a to be the best and freshest seafood ever. The menu changes every single day depending on what they catch, the weather, the seasons, everything. So I'm gonna bring you along on our tasting menu. I think I chose the five course tasting menu. And this is the boat. I'm gonna cry. Look at how cool this Okay, the Cornelius boat is here and look, we're gonna get on and head over to the restaurant for dinner. I am pretty much the youngest one here by far. <laughs> This boat is so similar to the one I was on this morning, but luckily I was able to get on early enough to have the window seat. So I'll make sure to show you guys the 25 minute ride over to the restaurant. They are selling these little splits of Prosecco for $10 at the bar on the boat. So I decided to get myself one to start off the night. And we are on our way. This was my best idea, so cheers. Checking my coat in the coat closet. You be good while I'm gone. 
Here's the room set up. Nobody's really up here yet. Stunning. All right, so here's my little table for one, and look at this view. We've got golden hour and, and the boat's leaving us, but it's gonna come pick us back up at 10.30. Can you believe it? Oh. This is a five course menu, so we are going to be here for a while. Might as well get comfortable. I just got a glass of champagne to start. This is gonna be a good night. So I'm obsessed with this table setup. How cute is this? I feel so awkward not having a second person. But sometimes you have to do things solo. I'm being brave right now because I think I'm the only solo person in this entire restaurant. But I didn't want to miss out on the experience. Look at this bread. Butter. Is she beefy? Oh my gosh, it's so good. Here's our first course. Oh my goodness, she looks amazing. And then it is butter fried, and then underneath you have um, cauliflower puree. You also have some uh, kind of crispy cauliflower, some oven kind of grilled cauliflower. You have fried capers, and then the orange part of the scallop is the scallop roll. This is a different and, part. And what's this? Yeah, this is the scallop roll. Okay. These, these are the different part of the scallop. A little I bit more tender. I never saw that part of the scallop. Yeah. Guys, we're a little nervous to eat this because it's whale satashi. I kind of do. It might just be a bite. I don't think it's that I'm in the bathroom, y'all. I'm having the best time. I'm just gonna make a quick video. I'll probably explain more later. But a lovely couple came over to my table where I was by myself and offered me to sit with them. And Marcy and Michael are the best ever. So I'm excited to be sitting with them. I've got to get back to their table, but I just had to go to the bathroom really quick. And oh, I love this. It is so bougie and so nice. I am obsessed. Okay, I'm gonna try to take this off. Okay. And now this is our official main main course, which is tusk. And we've got broccoli and asparagus. Oh my gosh, it looks so yummy. And now I've got dessert with rhubarb and panna cotta and who knows what else, but it looks good. I think that was the most fun dining experience I've ever had in my entire life. I cannot wait to share more when I get back to my hotel because... Guys, here's where they keep all the scallops. And all the fresh fish that they've got is right in here, right off the dock. Okay, time to board back on the boat to go back. And just like that, dinner is done. It was four hours at dinner. It took us half an hour to get back on the boat and now it is 11 p.m. Look at how light it is outside at 11 p.m. And now it is time to walk the 20 minutes back to my hotel and get some sleep because I leave for Flom in the morning. I'll tell you more when I get to the hotel room, but everything was absolutely delicious. The company was exceptional. I had this woman come up to my table and ask me if I wanted to sit with her and her husband and it turned out to be the biggest blessing in the entire world. Again, I'll tell you more when I get back to my hotel but it just was the best night that was Cornelius restaurant and I would 9 million out of 10 recommend you to go I am back and I've already taken a shower and taken out my contacts and brushed my teeth because I am getting ready to leave early in the morning for Flom so I know this may be a little bit of a jump scare but my camera died on the way back when I was planning to explain about dinner long story short I was there sitting not only did I have my own table but I only had a chair for one so it definitely was a little awkward but I sat down I was given a glass of champagne and then a wonderful woman named Marcy walked over to me and she asked if I would like to sit with her and her husband. I was a little hesitant at first. I was like, are they pitying me because they only have one chair? And I said, I don't want to interrupt your dinner. Like, don't worry about me. It's okay. And she said, are you sure? Like, we've been together three weeks and married for 30 plus years. And she's like, we'd love to have you join us. I said, you know what? Then yes, I would love to come join your table because they had a big enough table, just the two of them. And it was the most wonderful dinner. I will do little voiceovers explaining what we ate. But let me tell you, that was an 11 out of 10 experience. Starting from from the boat ride over to the restaurant on the island and the boat ride back, which made it feel so exclusive. I think I paid around 155 US dollars. That was including my glass of champagne and my five course meal. I was grateful that Marcy and Michael got two bottles of wine that they allowed me to share and were pouring glasses from. The best conversations, honestly, the life advice that they were giving me and just everything. You never know who you'll meet on solo travel and it seriously was such a God moment where I was like, I am supposed to not only just be here in Norway by myself, but be at this exact 
the restaurant on this day at this time to meet these people. The connections are just so crazy to me. A million out of 10 recommend Cornelius restaurant. I mean, again, a little bit on the pricier side, so you have to see that fits in your budget, but it was an experience to say the least. The food was incredible, so fresh, caught literally that morning, which is just wild to me. Presentation, everything, it was just wonderful. It was a four hour dinner. One of the longest dinners I've ever been to in my life, but the company made up for it with great conversation. I also sat next to a couple on the way back who are from Belgium, and so we talked about Belgium and how I used to live there. Everything was so wonderful. Took some pictures with them because they were so sweet. But now it's past midnight and I need to wake up at like seven in the morning tomorrow, so I'm gonna try and get as much sleep as possible. I hope you guys had a great last day in Bergen with me. Me. I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog tomorrow in Flom. That might be something more on my Instagram or my TikTok, just because it might be a little bit of a stressful day tomorrow and quite a bit of hours on the train. So we'll see if there's a Flom vlog. If not, then I'm headed off to Oslo and I'm excited to vlog that all for you guys. I love you so much. Thank you for sticking around the travel vlogs. Thank you for all your support. Thank you to all my new followers who I met at dinner tonight. I hope that you're watching this video because it was seriously amazing. I hope you're having a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Good night. <laughs>